Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie coming through with another video. If you are not already a subscriber of mine, please do not forget to subscribe. Click the link down below. And if you are already a subscriber of mine, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, I'm going to be looking all over the place because this setup I got here, y'all, if y'all could see what's going on with this setup, all it takes is one wrong move and everything is going to come falling down. <laughs> I don't know if I need to look there. I got like 50 million mirrors. The reason I am here today is just for a little girl talk 101 while I um, go through this process of parting my hair. That's why I have these mirrors set up like this so I can see the back of my head. So um, like I said, if you are new to my channel, I am transitioning to natural. So I am getting ready to attempt um, a protective style. And I don't know how long this video is going to be, but once I am done, I will make sure to um, notate the timestamp so you don't have to listen to all of this if you don't want to. So yesterday I washed and conditioned my hair and I shampooed with the Tropical Roots Clarifying Shampoo. And I also went in with my Almond Avocado um, Sulfate Free Shampoo. You might say it's stripping my hair and it might be too much for you, but what is for you is for you and what is for me is for me. And I also went in with the Design Essentials um, Almond Avocado Conditioner once I rinse that out. Yes, I provide my hair with a lot of moisture. Um, this is the 3-Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner by Aussie. I also use this after I condition my hair. And then, when I was all done, I rinsed it all out. This has become my new favorite. It is Black Jamaican Castor Oil Leave-In Deep Conditioner Growth and Moisture. If you don't have this, if you um, are not into like a lemony smell, this has like a strong lemony smell. I love it though. It smells so good. It's a leave-in conditioner. And so I put this in my hair last night after I washed and conditioned it. So today I'm going to just be parting off my hair because I'm going to attempt, um, I think they're called knotless butterfly passion twist. I don't know if I'm going to do strictly just knotless jumbo braids or jumbo knotless um, butterfly braidless braidless jumbo knotless butterfly braids i don't know which one i'm gonna do yet um but i will have the video of me soaking the hair um i will post that video prior to this one so i soaked the hair last night for a few hours in um apple cider vinegar i did both the white and the um the brown and i also did a third with the um acv with the with the mother in it I used all of that because I have tried, I've done um, passion twists and um, small knotless braids. I've done, I tried the passion twist, I think three different times. And then the um, knotless braids, I think I tried maybe twice. And each time I had really bad experience with the itching of the scalp, um, irritation, and it was horrible. I had bought every oil under the sun, every anti-itch dandruff and sulfur eight and anything you can think of i tried and so i found that after doing a few youtube um video searches that i was not the only one suffering from this so apparently the synthetic hair is coated with um chemicals to help preserve the hair to keep it from molding which i didn't know that so i did my last time around try to soak the braids in acv um and i did it overnight and i've tried like a, at least four or five different brands of synthetic hair i can't remember them all but i know i did the lulu trust i did the um um easy braid i did the um there's a there's a few more if i remember them i'll put them in my link but none of them worked for me so somebody told me to try the model model brand and so yesterday i was not able to find the model model brand in that um, pre-stretched pre braiding hair that i wanted and I could not, um, I did not want to get it offline to wait for it to ship because I wanted my hair done before next week. So I bought three different kinds of hair. I soaked all the hair last night. 
I shampooed it with sulfate shampoo. I know it's synthetic hair. I know it's plastic. And you're probably like, what the heck? You shampooing and conditioning? Yes, I did. I stripped the hair with ACV. I didn't see anything come off the hair, even though it says pre-washed, chemical-free, um, and all this other stuff. But nothing came off the hair that I could see. So, But I still went ahead and did the this soak. And then I um, rinsed the hair. I soaked it in, and then I... And then I put conditioner in it. And then I put just a little bit of the leave-in conditioner that I just showed you. But whether or not it's gonna help or not, I don't know. Stay tuned and we'll both find out together. Cause I plan on after I do the install, most likely tomorrow or the next day, I'm gonna leave it in to see how long it takes before I have a reaction, if I do have a reaction. And I will post an update on that. So with further ado, like I said, this video is for parting purposes only. I suck at parting as you can see. I put my hair in these three or six little balls last, from last night. And um, so, yeah, like I said, if you are new to this channel, I am um, going on this journey of transitioning to natural. And I started using the Hair Growth Co-Oil. And I haven't received my second bottle yet. I know shipment is probably delayed due to COVID. So I've been probably, ouch, I've been probably a week and a half or so without it. So once I get some more in, I will start recording my pro progress again. And y'all, please forgive me, but these braids will not be perfect. At all. I mean, these parts, my hair is still a little bit damp, but it smells amazing. Y'all, when I tell the stuff, it smells so good. Oh, it just smells like a, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to explain it, but it smells amazing. So what I'm doing here is just combing out my hair. I'm only gonna do the first two rows. And for the, um, I'm gonna try my best to let y'all see what I'm doing. It's gonna be kind of hard. I thought that this setup would, would suffice, but. So I'm just taking down the four rows and for this, you will need, um, I'm using the red tail comb with the pointy end. And then I'm also going to use the Shining Jam Magic Fingers. You're going to need some rubber bands. I got some black rubber bands. And I am just going to, a lot of people don't like using rubber bands in the head. I'm not leaving them in. I'm just putting them to hold my hair until tomorrow. And y'all, my hair feels so soft right now. So soft. So this is all I'm parting out. This is all I'm parting out right now. And then I'm going to take these rubber bands, just put a few in my hand. I probably don't need that many. I'm hoping to do maybe like 15 or 16 jumbo plants. I don't want to do no more than that, but we'll see. So here's the, my rubber bands. I'm going to just spray some oil. This is kind of just for extra protection. I'm just going to rub them together. This kind of helps keep the rubber bands moisturized while I'm putting them in my hair, even though I'm not leaving them in. It just, I'm OCD, y'all. So I just want to make sure that my hair is protected while it's, in these rubber bands. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. And I want to just do, normally I do three at the bottom. But I'm gonna go and just go straight across. And it felt like I didn't go straight across. So I'm gonna do it again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on camera, y'all. This is so hard. I had a lot I wanted to talk about today, but if I can't get it together with this part, and I don't know what I'm gonna be able to talk about while I'm trying to part. I can't do two things at one time. But anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Video cut off on accident trying to get rid of 
trying to get rid of um, notifications on my phone while I'm trying to record. It's so annoying. I'm telling y'all one day I'm going to get this together and I'm going to record from the actual camera. But for now, I'm going to just use my phone. Because I didn't feel like setting up. So this is about as good as it's going to get for this first row here, y'all. It ain't perfect, but guess what? It's going to do. So, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I just want to say, y'all, I got another video I'm going to do. The boo, the babe, the mister. He got me a... um a beauty fridge for Christmas. That was one of my gifts for Christmas. And mind you, I'm not into makeup and all that other stuff. I would love to learn how to do like a basic, a basic look. Cause I do like to just, if I can, learn to just apply like, do a facial cleanse and apply a foundation or something. I don't know, and some concealer. But, and go on with my day. Um. But anyway, needless to say, I'm going to do a review because I went shopping yesterday, yes, y'all, for my beauty fridge. Never even knew that thing existed. But if y'all don't know, I am um, CEO, owner of Real Blue Cosmetics, and I kind of put that on hold. Ooh, can you see that? So I just poured it into. So yeah, um, I am owner, CEO of Blue, Real Blue Cosmetics. Okay, so there's the part. And again, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be perfect for me. Um, yeah, so um, I went and Google was I was supposed to go into a beauty fridge. And it was just saying stuff like face masks and facial serums and toners and things. I'm like, I got this stuff. I got facial toners and toners and serums and stuff that, especially stuff that contain vitamin C. I got that stuff. So I was like, shoot, let me go. I took me a um, trip to the dollar store. I took me a trip to um, Target. And y'all, let me just say, I came out of there getting way more than I was supposed to get. But, okay, I'm sorry. If y'all don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm just putting some of this, um, Shining Jam Magic Fingers on here to hold this all in place. And then I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb. Just to kind of make it neat for when I get ready to do them yet tomorrow or the day after. I'm just going to go in and um, take one down at a time and braid. So right now you're just going to see me putting a rubber band on here to hold this in place. And I'm going to kind of just fold it here. That's gonna keep it out of place for when I start braiding tomorrow. Oh my God, this is so weird. Okay, so then I'm just gonna do the other side. I'm gonna do this all over my head till I'm done. And like I said, I want these to be jumbo, so these squares are gonna be jumbo. And I only wanna go for like maybe 15. 15 or so but anyway y'all so yeah got my little magic or flawless beauty makeup refrigerator and that thing it plugs in and runs cool and everything like a real refrigerator don't you know he had a nerve to tell me that he was gonna put a pepsi can on it uh, no 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 you're not putting no pepsi can or nothing in my beauty fridge you are not putting your beverages in my fridge that is not what it was bought for but then i later found out um i'm not i'm sorry i got backtracked that the um it was bought for me to, when I make like my body butters and stuff for my client uh, clients, my customers, to put them in there and to keep them refrigerated. I was like, oh, so this was bought for my customers and to keep my products. This to keep my products um, cool for my customers before shipping it. Oh, uh, I was like, well, I mean, it's not that big, but I was like well i guess i have to put some of my customer stuff to the side huh but now i am um planning to start back working on my business i'm not too happy with the current logo and stuff so you know it kind of threw me off and dampened my mood i was so excited i launched on november the first 
And if you are not familiar with Real Blue Cosmetics, head over to visit the website, take a look around. Only thing I have on there right now is um, uh, body butters, lip scrubs, body scrubs, um, lip oils, and everything is all organic, natural. Everything is made to order. Everything is moisturizing and good for the skin, nourishing for the skin. And like I said, a lot of this stuff can be specialized and made to what your preference is. And my next thing is I'm going to, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting ready to, oh, I could probably still work from this angle. But yeah, so I'm going to um, venture off and I'm going to add to the website but I want to change my logo first because it's like it's too dull for me like I want something that's going to be more sparkly to fit more of my personality and stand out but you know it is all good because it is my first time my first go round, and I'm excited I'm excited for what's to come and if you watch any of my previous videos you will see that your girl was busting her butt to hit that launch date and i did it was it necessarily the way i wanted and was everything perfect no and it was a lot of trial and error it was a lot of money spent i wouldn't say a lot of money wasted but a lot of money spent and it was worth it it was an experience and I am so excited to see where Real Blue goes. I have big, big hopes and dreams for it. And I'm here for it. And I hope to expand and to, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with that. I can't even see. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm horrible at this, but I'm trying my best. It is hard to do this without having the right angles. I'm just gonna twist this here to get this out the way. I look like my hair is changing colors. Um, so yeah, if you are one of those people that have been pro procrastinating and not wanting to start your own business, it is like the perfect time to do so. Okay, I'm gonna part this one in two. You can use this part or this part. It's probably easier to use this part, but because of the way that I'm doing this, I'm gonna use the actual point of the comb. Ooh. And as you can see, like I said, y'all, please forgive my partner. It is horrible. But I'm gonna stop talking right now so I can focus getting these parts down so i don't waste y'all too much of y'all time because i know if you are anything like me i hate long videos and these supposed to be squares but they look more like rectangles yeah i cannot see but hey it is what it is it's just gonna be a protective style <sighs> For me to make it through while I'm trying to grow my hair out, y'all. So this is what the next one is going to look like. too bad
think I'm going to be a little different. I'm going to kind of, because I don't want this. Let me see if I do this right here. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And y'all, if your hair is thick like mine, don't use this little bitty comb to comb your hair out, okay? Because you will be combing your hair out. And make sure that it's, see how dry mine's looking? So I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit of this Moisture Me Curl and Style Milk. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because you do not want to comb your hair dry. That is the first, first step. To breakage and you don't want that so yeah okay oh, my hair feeling real dry in this area but so moving on this this area is kind of thick so I don't know how many I'm gonna put right here I can't see this part, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna blindly part this, y'all. And hope for the best. And hope for the best. Cause I can't see nothing. And I can't even it out with this one. It feels so much thicker than this one. How about I'm gonna go in one more time. I promise y'all, I'm going to try to let y'all see all of this when I'm done to kind of give what this braid pattern about to look like or this parting because I can't see nothing and I ain't even going to lie to you. I can't see nothing. But anyway, y'all, today I had, um, so a year ago I started, um, I went through some stuff last year that one day I'll be soon to talk about, but not today because it is that's another story for another day. But anyway, had a situation that led me to begin fasting. I fasted for the first time last year. I did the Daniel fast. I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with the Daniel fast, but I did the Daniel fast last year. And it was the best thing I could have ever done. Like I am a Christian. I am a strong believer and God, and I know everybody has their, I didn't come here to preach to you about anything, but everybody has their own beliefs. But I'm telling you what has worked for me. So needless to say, I began fasting last year after going through some stuff. And like I said, I am a Christian, I am a believer of God, and I, I don't go to church like I, I should. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I don't go to church like I should. I don't read the Bible like I should. But I have a relationship with God. And I ain't going to say that's good enough, but it's good enough for me. Okay? All God wants you to do is to be a believer of him and to come to him in your times of trouble and not to worry about nothing and pray about everything. So your girl fasted last year, did the Daniel fast for 10 days, fruits and vegetables, and did the little spiritual reading of different verses and stuff like that i didn't know really what it was but you know what i decided from that day forward after experiencing what i experienced um being able to be in god's presence during that time or him to be in mine uh, was crazy like when i tell you it was crazy it was crazy and i have become a, such a different person since then i have learned a lot of stuff since doing that so I decided that every time I'm having trouble I'm going to fast that has been my go-to I think it's been a year now it might be a little bit longer but I promise y'all I feel like because I'm always going through something like always and I know I'm not the only person that go through stuff but 
I decided that every time I feel like I need to, I'm going to fast. And it don't necessarily mean you got to go into starving yourself and you got to do fruits and vegetables only and all that other stuff. I decided my fast consists of, and these are my own personal fast, my fast consists of me getting rid of one to three things for 10 days. I am currently on a 30-day fast, but this has to do with, um, I'm working with a personal trainer and he put me on a fruit and, uh, I mean, a meat and meat and veggie fast for the, for these 30 days. I got like three more days left, y'all. This is my first time ever doing a 30-day fast. Could you imagine? So I said when he put me on this fast the beginning of this month, I was like, this would be the perfect time for me to go ahead and do and include my spiritual fast. Because like I said, I have been doing it every, almost every month, y'all this past year but i was doing it only for 10 days and i was just sacrificing like it, it can be anything you can sacrifice a bag of chips a juice a, a snack it don't necessarily got to be nothing major like what i'm trying to tell y'all the best thing i could have ever did because every time i felt like i was going through some of the most uh, traumatic experiences in my life going to god is your safe place like you learn that after you after you um after you experience the 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 peace the comfort after you go into you look after you seek him like you can't seek all your help in man you got to seek god he is the one that is capable of any and everything and you learn that but i've learned that and so i've done these fasts and it's the, the closest, it's, 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 it's kind of, I don't want to say it's weird, but like, y'all, when I tell y'all I did this fast for the first time, like, along during this fast, like I said, I sacrificed, um, the first time I did, I did the fruits and vegetables, I think, for 10 days. And then I think I took myself off of social media. That was my fast. And then, so I did that. And then I stayed in prayer and I read my devotion. I, I have a Bible app. So, like I said, I don't, half of the time, don't know what I'm learning or reading in the Bible. Because it's kind of hard to, to understand. So, I use the Bible app to kind of dumb stuff down for you. And, um, so, yeah, I did that for 10, day, 10 days. When I tell y'all, God, God was working on me. He healed me from the, the things that I was going through at that moment. He, he gave me comfort and peace. And, like I said... When you ask God to show you things, be prepared for what he's going to show you, okay? Be prepared for what he's going to show you because what you ask for is what you're going to get. And once you ask for whatever it is that you're going to get and it's and it hurts, you got to ask God what he wants you to do next. You got to you got to see what your purpose is. You got to turn your pain into purpose y'all and i just learned that this year you turn your pain into purpose pain into purpose if you don't remember nothing else turn your pain into purpose okay we are here to serve so that's why we go through the things that we go that's one of the reasons i feel we go through the things that we go through because we are here to serve so just as i am sharing this with you somebody may come across this channel and be able to utilize this and it may work for them it may or it may not work for them. Everything is not for everybody, but I'm letting y'all know what worked for me. So ever since I've been doing it, like I said, y'all, it might be, uh, it ain't a coincidence. But when I tell y'all he was waking me up every single day at the same time to read my devotion, I kid you not, I was like 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock. That's how I know he was working. Like he was literally waking me up every single uh day for those 10 days the same time i said that ain't nothing but god let me open this bible app and read when i'm supposed to read and he was speaking to me so ever since that day y'all or ever since that um time i've been fasting like every month almost because i go through stuff a lot like i go through a lot of stuff and one day i'm thinking i might even write a book I might even begin to share some of this stuff because some of the stuff that I go through, I'm sure I'm not the only one. So I'm not embarrassed about any of it anymore. And I'm willing to open up because I may be able to help somebody else because I'm learning. 
what my purpose is. I don't know quite exactly what it is, but I'm learning what my purpose is. So, yeah. So, like I said, I have been fasting every month. For almost 10 days every month. And right now I'm on a 30 day, 30 day fast. And it's definitely been rough. I've definitely been going through some stuff. But I've been finding comfort about going to God about everything. And y'all want to know what else I've been doing? I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with um, Pastor Michael Todd. But baby, listen. He has been my go-to when I'm fasting too. He's been my go-to. Like... I don't know if I want this to go at an angle or if I want it to be straight. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be different and keep it at an angle. And it's going to be baby hair and stuff, y'all. So I'm just going to look kind of messy, but excuse me. But yeah, so Pastor Michael Ty, he's here on YouTube. And I have been watching him, you know, when I go through, through my fast. And let me tell y'all a good one to watch. Especially for people that are in the very beginning stages of they um, of starting to date and stuff, I feel like every man and woman should see this. Like I kid you not, I'm telling y'all, relationship goals. Google it, Pastor Michael Todd, um, Transformation Church, relationship goals. When I tell you, I learned so much last year watching that stuff that I wish it, it kind of brings understanding to a lot of the stuff that you go through when you're trying to have a relationship. And I think everybody should watch that. Like, y'all kid you not, I have younger boys. And I, I'm going to have them watch that with me. And just to make sure that they see, uh, receive understanding before getting into relationships. Like, everybody, I feel, should see that stuff. And not to mention um, relationship goals. But currently, I'm watching the... Um, it's called FU University. Yes, FU University. And it ain't the this FU. It's, uh, it's, it's really Forgiveness University is what it really is. And basically, there's like, I think, 11 or 12 weeks. I have not finished it yet. I'm currently on um, week 11, I think. Week 10 or week 11. And um, it's FU University. And Michael Pastor Ty just goes through the basis of how we supposed to forgive? You know how we all have people that we do not like and can't stand. Well, I'm gonna have to make these three. Um, we all have a, a a lot of people that we don't like or can't seem to get right with, or whatever the case may be, and it's just human nature. But from what I learned, God wants us to be more like him. He wants the same thing that's going on up in the kingdom to be happening on earth. So he wants us to forgive a million times over and over again. It's not saying forget. It's not saying that you have to be in relationship or deal with somebody who has harmed or hurt you or continues to hurt you. That is not what that is like. What's being said is that you are to forgive you forgive for you you don't forgive to basically feel like you letting the other person off the hook like you forgiving to free yourself you know what i'm saying you cannot look for somebody always to apologize to you for stuff that they may have done to hurt you or harm you like it's just not gonna happen sometimes it never happens sometimes you live the rest of your life waiting for somebody to apologize to you and that just ain't gonna happen. Like you'll be waiting for a lifetime. Some people you may never see too. Sometimes some people end up passing away and never being able to tell you that they were sorry for whatever they done to you. So you got to find peace by forgiving. And like I said, he talks about how to forgive people who have been like molested who people who parents wasn't there for them people who like it's just so much stuff y'all i'm telling y'all relationship goals and fu university so far i haven't watched anything else 
but those two y'all especially relationship goals to teach you how to to all the steps and the reasons why you go through a lot of things in these relationships is very very helpful and then like i said the fu university was very helpful too so i'm trying to tell you okay with these two parts you want to kind of make sure that they even so Just gonna kinda but yeah y'all so go check those out whenever you have a chance if you made it this far in the video I like I said I didn't know how long this video was gonna be but I'm gonna place a few time stamps hope that you leave this video with something that I've said that would be beneficial to you and if not that's fine too but um yeah i need y'all to go check that out and speaking of um i learned something else through as far as giving and i always looking to receive y'all i ain't gonna tell y'all what i gave away today but i sent this homeless man i was leaving walmart i was headed to target and i was like i ain't even gonna tell y'all what i gave that man because i don't need to advertise my goodness that I planned, that I did today. Just know that that man is blessed today. And I hope that he, he be blessed. What the heck am I doing? And just as I have continued to be blessed, I want the same for him. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I look like I got way too much hair. But yeah, so as much as you can, I need people to learn to not focus so much on themselves and to learn to just give, 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 give. I don't mean let somebody use you up, but give. It make you feel good when you give and you see somebody that's, that's, um, you see somebody that's able to. utilize whatever giving you can give i've been trying to be um a better person all the way around a better friend because i've had so even though i've been in need so much i have a lot of people that i found need me you know and i've also learned that when you're going through stuff because i compartmentalize a lot of stuff and i and i've learned through these these fasts that god don't want you to fight alone when you're going through these battles, I'm one of those people that, oh my God, I don't want nobody to know my business. Oh my God, I'm going to stay to myself. Oh my God, it's just so embarrassing. But the older I get, the more I've learned. These are life experiences. And you ain't the only one going through what you're going through. It's like a million, million more people going through the same things that you're going through, if not worse. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this top part right, y'all. It's going to be a little bootleg. But, yeah, you ain't the only person going through what you're going through. And you sharing your experiences and your trials and your tribulations of the things that you're going through can help somebody else. So, like I said, my plan is to continue to try to learn what my purpose is and serve in it. I'm a, We are servants here. Like, we are not here to live our own lives. We are here for a purpose. So don't be out here doing people wrong, trying to get revenge on people, and all that other stuff. It's just a waste of your time and a waste of your life. Like, if you feel like you got to do all that, just know it's no good for you. Like, you can't be out here trying to get revenge on somebody. I understand people be doing some effed up stuff, y'all. And it'd be like the best thing to do because you know you can get back at them. But it's just like, is it even worth it? In the end, either how would you feel afterwards? Like, does it make you feel any better when you get revenge? The best revenge is just to move on. Because guess what? If you a good person, your revenge is you moving on to be happy. And sometimes it be like that. Sometimes it be like that. Don't wish no ill will on nobody. Because God got you. 
that I got you. But like I was trying to finish saying, as far as self-isolating, I've been huge on that. I've been on that all my life. Like, when I tell y'all that I've been self-isolating for years, like, that's just my go-to. Because like I said, it's just embarrassing some of the stuff you go to. You just don't want to talk to people about it. But I'm learning to open up more and to be more open. Because, like, these younger girls out here running out here running well, like, I just, if I could just reach one, if I could just reach one, it make me feel good. Like, I would love to just reach one. And as you can see, see how crooked that is? So I'm about to have to do that all over. But I'm about to just go ahead and finish this up, y'all. I'm going to finish um, that front part off camera because I'm going to need that part to be perfect. Like everything else in the back can be jacked up, but I'm going to need that part to be perfect because it just got to be. But yeah, I know I keep <laughs> falling off track. But anyway, you're supposed to have... Uh, you're not supposed to self-isolate. You're not supposed to battle alone. You're supposed to have a battle buddy. And even if you, you feel uncomfortable and you feel like you don't want to open up to tell your business to no, nobody, sometimes you feel better telling your business to a stranger, like, because they don't know you. And they can't, they, they can't really judge you. And then when you talk to other people, you be like, oh, my God, I didn't know you was going through that, too. Or, oh, my God. You too? Like, we are all going through stuff. And all pretty much going through the same things. Like, you wouldn't believe. Because people are out here crazy. But you know. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what did I do wrong. But yeah, you be feeling like you're the only one going through stuff. Girl, you is not the only one going through stuff. You is not the only one through here. I'm so confused, y'all. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing with this part. Got to make something up. Because I can't make this one big one. So if I put one, two... But yeah, if you want to do some stuff, find you a battle buddy. Don't fight your demons alone. There's always somebody out there going through some stuff, similar stuff that can possibly help you. So don't be out here fighting alone, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end this now. I will be back tomorrow or maybe day two. I'm going to upload today the video. Um... I don't know, like I said, y'all, this video is going to be extra long. So, I'm going to apologize and put as many timestamps as I can. But as you can see, if you can see, I did two, the base, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, that's seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I have a lost track. I can't even. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my God, I lost track again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I got 13, but y'all, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. Somehow, I'm about to go back in here, and I'm going to, because I don't want these laying right on top of each other. So I'm going to go back in here and probably make these into, like, two more, because I don't want them on top of each other. And I'm going to straighten this part up. And yeah, so I got, like, almost 15, like I said. But yeah. So it was nice 
talking to y'all y'all allowing me to babble my mouth and that is all i'm doing with my hair right now so tomorrow when i wake up excuse me or the day after like i said i'm going to begin the braiding process and then we're going to see if the um hair itches after a few days after me doing the acv rinse and all the other stuff so yeah y'all so it was nice talking to y'all like i said if you are not already a subscriber um please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell below and i will see you in the next video